Roman Abramovich's shock announcement at the weekend raises more questions than it does provide answers. And they are answers that the trustees of Chelsea's Charitable Foundation want uh, before they agree to do uh, to take over the stewardship of the club as is proposed. They need to know exactly what that is going to look like. That in itself proves or suggests just, just what a shock this was when news dropped uh, on Saturday evening because it was really presented as if it was a done deal that uh, Abramovich had decided that he would be handing over stewardship of the club uh, and, and there didn't seem any question from there on in uh, as to it going forward. However, the, the trustees, they want answers. And before they can agree to anything, they, they need to know. They need to know simple things like the, the legality of switching from a, from a charitable foundation to suddenly the, uh, the, the controllers of one of the most powerful clubs in world football. Um, they will not have control over, over football matters. That will be down to the senior management team, Marina Granovskaya, Petr Cech. They will decide Thomas Tuchel's future. They'll decide transfer business. So straight away, that, that's, uh, that, that's one aspect of control that's taken out of their hands. But also, uh, we, they will not be selling the club because uh, we're told that Abramovich absolutely does not want to sell Chelsea. He's absolutely committed to it. In theory, if the trustees are making club decisions, they could field offers, they could negotiate. Uh, but we're told that they would not be expected to do that and they would not be expect to, expected to present any bids to Abramovich because he does not want to sell the club. That in itself, for Chelsea fans, might make them feel um, a little more easy about the situation because his commitment, we are told, remains as strong as ever. He absolutely does not want to sell this club. We're also told that he's free to continue to invest in the club, even though he's taken this step back. So from, from that point of view, his influence on them can remain as strong as it ever was. However, we're led to believe that Chelsea are looking to go down a more self-sustainable route and therefore would be looking to, to fund their own transfer business going forward. So what does the future look like? Um, you can understand there would be a, a certain amount of um, discomfort amongst, amongst Chelsea fans at the thought that this could be the beginning of a separation. Again, I say uh, we're told that that is not the case. But when you look at uh, the, the challenges they have just on uh, uh, domestic shores in, in the form of Manchester City and all the money they have, in the form of Newcastle, who are newly rich. Liverpool, we've seen, have been uh, one of the dominant forces in recent years and beat Chelsea in the Carabao Cup final on Sunday. Manchester United, still one of the richest clubs in the world. To, for Chelsea to be able to challenge those clubs, to be able to go above those clubs and actually regain supremacy in English football, it is hard to imagine that happening without Abramovich.